नेक्स्ट दिस इज ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी बेसिक एंड इंपॉर्टेंट सेंसेबल एंड लैट एंड हीट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई गिव द आइडिया वाई दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट सो दैट यू कैन गेट द इंटरेस्ट एंड वी कैन ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस टाइप ऑफ हीट सो वाई दिस सेंसेबल लैट एंड इज इंपॉर्टेंट रिमेम्बर एट द टाइम ऑफ लोड कैलकुलेशन when we deal with the different sources of heat gain or heat loss heat gain in summer and heat loss in winter first we'll we'll find out the different sources of heat gain or heat loss as per the requirement for example at this level i take example of cooling system in summer so in cooling system for summer we are we are interested to calculate heat gain and for heat gain we'll find out the sources first i'll give you a few example Uh, we have a list in chapter 7 in detail at this level just for example heat gain through wall is one source heat gain through glass nothing but window or heat gain through partition floor ceiling or ventilation infiltration like this you'll have people lighting appliances we have a complete list so remember at the time when we deal with the heat gain through this different sources first you must know that heat gain is only sensible or sensible plus latent according to that we have a formulas for example heat gain through wall remember it's only sensible but what is sensible we have not discussed yes we'll discuss don't we just i'm try to give the importance of this topic similarly heat gain through ventilation is not just sensible it's a sensible plus latent okay because the moisture also involved in that similarly heat gain through paper is a sensible plus latent So, what is exactly the sensible latent? We'll discuss now. First of all, some theory. You see, sensibility refers to what heat energy that causes change in temperature of a substance without changing its state. Remember, adding or extracting the heat without change in phase is a sensible heat. For example, if we take a container filled with water and adding the heat, so what will happen? Starts to boil. Right, it will start to boil, but after some time, now. not quickly starting for example this is at 0 degree centigrade sorry 0 degree centigrade so it will increase the temperature to 1 2 3 4 5 up to what up to 100 then at 100 it start changing its phase so heat adding heat from say 0 degree to 100 degree is what without changing its phase na it's a sensibility or reverse for example this water at 99 Degree centigrade, and I'm extracting the heat from ninety nine to zero without changing your face. Is it sensible, right? So simple. Sensible is what adding or extracting the heat without changing its state with the same condition. Okay. For example, ice. Ice at say minus ten degree centigrade. Suppose this ice at minus ten degree centigrade. I'm adding the heat. So what will happen? You saw line. Temperature will increase. Just temperature increase, it will increase. Just it will not start melting. When it will start melting at when the temperature is to zero degree centigrade. So minus ten to say minus nine, adding the heat. That heat is what sensible. Sensible, simple, right? It can be solid, it can be liquid, or it can be in vapor. Suppose vapor means above hundred degree centigrade, and adding the heat. So the vapor in the vapor only, and it will increase the heat to say one zero one, one zero two, etc. So again, that is a sensible. So remember, adding or extracting the heat without change in phase is called a sensible heat. For example, heat gain through wall from outside to inside. Is there any change in phase, or is there any moisture traveling from outside to inside? No. So we can consider the heat gain through wall. I'm just talking about the application side. The heat gain through wall is what only sensible. But if the heat, okay. So next we'll talk about latent. Then we'll take more example. Let me quickly complete this theory. So you see. sensible heat refers to the heat that causes a change in temperature of a substance without changing its state in other words it's a heat energy that can be felt or sensed in general as it lead to a noticeable change in the substance temperature okay so when the sensible heat is added to a metal its temperature increases and when sensible heat is removed the tem- the metal temperature decreases Sensible heat transfer is common in every situation, such as when you feel warm of sunlight or the skin or a cold or on a breeze, etc. Just a feeling, sensible feeling, without any change in face. We are not getting the sweat. 
just we are feeling hot or cold without any uh, any not any any getting sweat so if if involved in moisture or change of face means that comes under the next latent we'll discuss let me complete this sensible first so if you talk about sensible we have this equation q equal to mcp delta t we'll use at the time of calculation this is a very general formula later at the time of calculation you'll find uh, u a delta t some modified formulas but this is a general formula mcb delta t so here q is a sensible heat in this case because we are talking about sensible say btu or it can be joules or kilojoules m is a mass of the substance in case of say flow rate of air we used to we are using cfm or in case of any solid say pound or kg c is a specific heat of that substance and remember the specific heat of the substance depend from substance to substance. specific heat of water is different compared with the air or the specific heat of milk is different compared with the any other fluid okay so that you'll get from that table and delta t is a change in temperature from the two side of that body okay so just remember this is a formula when we deal with the load calculation you'll find the modified formulas and we'll discuss in with more detail at this level i'm not just going in in, in detail for this formula just i'm defining mcp delta t what is what next so same example heat gain through wall heat gain through glass etc because we can consider as a sensible hmm. and this is very very important throughout the load calculation when we deal with all possible sources we'll check whether the source is conduction convection radiation or only conduction or it's a mixed port plus whether it's a sensible only or sensible plus latent according to that we have a calculation okay so very very basic to deal with the manual load calculation manual load calculation you can consider as a basic for the software load calculation so it's a it's, it's a process okay next next we'll talk about the latent heat simple you see latent heat refers to the heat energy absorbed or released during a phase change of a substance hmm. such as melting or boiling for example consider the same case a container with the water i'm adding the heat suppose initial temperature says zero degrees centigrade and the that reaches to 100 degrees centigrade now so what happened at 100 degrees centigrade further the temperature will not increase because you know the boiling point of water is 100 degrees but still i'm adding the heat so where that heat goes it change yes that heat is utilized to change the phase and that heat is called at heat so remember sensibility means adding or extracting the heat without change of phase but the temperature will change but remember latent heat means at constant temperature change of phase when you add when you continuously add the heat is a latent so the important point is first point is latent heat means this is for change of phase from solid to uh, from solid to liquid from liquid to vapor or vice versa and the second important point whenever the starting to end change of phase the temperature is going to be constant at 100 degree only the starting of vaporization and and at that temperature only complete water will will convert to vapor or for example if you can if you take your ice at zero degree centigrade and adding the heat what will happen start melting at zero degree till the completion of melting it's going to be at zero degree only and after that change of phase into liquid then further if you had if it increase the temperature to one degree two degree etc up to 100 again at 100 it's going to be constant till the conversion process from liquid to vapor okay so latent heat means this is related to change of phase and second point is at constant temperature you see latent heat refers to the heat energy absorbed or released during a phase change of a substance such as melting vaporizing or condensation vaporizing means vapor to liquid condensation means uh, sorry my mistake vaporizing means liquid to vapor and condensation means vapor to liquid reverse so if it, it is important to note that during a phase change the temperature of the substance remain constant even though the heat is added or removed okay so this is very important and this concept will also use at the time of vapor compression cycle you see when the change change of phase from vapor to liquid in condenser because of rejection of heat equal to latent heat at constant temperature similarly change of phase from liquid to vapor in in evaporator because of extracting the heat equal to latent heat at constant temperature again so this concept sensible latent first we'll use in vapor compression cycle then 
will you also use in load calculation because if you talk about load calculation one example heat gain through ventilation what do you think is only sensible or sensible plus latent or only latent sensible plus latent yes sensible plus latent why sensible plus latent because heat gain through ventilation means outside air and remember am is what fluid fluid but with respect to psychometric prior plus you know moisture. yes it's air means if i use the term air means by default i'm talking about the moisture the moisture air means dry air dry air refers to the sensible and the moisture is refers to the latent because that moisture we need to extract and condense on the cooling coil to decrease that humidity level in the space so that condensation is required so the change of phase and that change of phase or uh, means that that way the moisture inside the space you're going to condense on the cooling coil again that change of phase comes at the latent okay so this sensible latent will use throughout the load calculation okay as per the type of source yeah so the same you will find the formula also for this latent you see q equal to ml so where q is latent heat here and m is a mass and l is a latent heat of the substance and this latent heat of the substance you'll get from the table like 335 kilojoules per kg for ice similarly for different substance you'll find this value that we'll use at the time of load calculation so this level just uh, memorize this formula the application side, uh, you'll find the modifiers formulas as per the source of heat gain. Further, if you talk about this latent heat, as I said, this change of phase now, the change of phase can be liquid to vapor or can be this, uh, uh, sorry, can be solid to the liquid and can be this liquid to the vapor. So you see, we, this is divided into two. First is the latent heat of fusion. Fusion means what? Solid to liquid. This different term, term is given. If the change of phase from solid to liquid, we used to call latent of fusion. If it is from liquid to gas, we used to call latent of vaporization. Next, for uh, learning point of view, here you see application point of view, heat came through ventilation, infiltration people is the example of sensible plus latent. Remember, the source can be only sensible or can be sensible plus latent. We don't have option for only latent in case of source of, source of heat gain. Okay. So in this table or in this uh, figure, you can find increase in X direction is a heat, is a heat content, nothing but enthalpy. And in Y direction, you can consider temperature, temperature in degree centigrade as well as in degree Fahrenheit. And this line represents the state of say water, this blue color line, okay, starting from here. So now you can notice at 32 degree Fahrenheit or zero degree centigrade, the state of water, I'm considering example as water. So the state of water is what? Solid or liquid? Solid. One bit. Yeah, no, solid. solid. Right. Solid. And now below that temperature, below the temperature, below the zero degree. Suppose if I consider this solid. say minus 17.8, so solid. solid. Okay. You see zero degree Fahrenheit or 17 minus 17.8 degree uh, centigrade. This is solid. So you see thus adding just for example, assume that I'm adding heat to this solid, nothing but ice. So what will happen slowly the temperature increases and the heat also added but you see this solid is going to be in solid only but at this point which is melting temperature or the freezing temperature of water after this temperature further if you add the heat what will happen change. the conversion process start it means you see this phase can i consider as sensible no change in phase now adding the mm -hmm. heat and increasing the temperature but no change in phase but at point 32 degree Fahrenheit or 0 degree centigrade further if you add the heat what will happen the conversion process start means the melting of start melting of start from point 2 and the complete melting is done at point 3 so this phase is or this heat is what is called what latent heat and this 144 BTU is for what I'm considering one pound of water so it means for one pound of water, if you want to convert from solid to liquid, how much heat, heat amount is required in terms of BTU? It's 144. In, Engl in metric system, you'll find the different values. This is uh, English system, 144 BTU. It means when you add 144 BTU in one pound of ice, that, that will convert to water. So this much of heat energy is required based on the uh, experiment. Okay. So 0.223 is what? Latent. Means change of phase. And now you can notice a change of phase the line is horizontal is there any increase in in vertical no it means you know this 
This is a proof, na? This change of phase at what? At constant temperature. This is an important point. That's the reason I'm showing this. So the change of phase at constant, constant temperature. So if you are adding the heat, but that heat is not utilizing to increase the temperature that is used to change the phase. So now at point three, it's completely in liquid. Further, if you add the heat, what will happen? Rise of temperature. Uh, what will happen? The temperature increases. Temperature also increases. So you see 0.3 to 0.4, you can consider increase in temperature without changing of phase. And you can notice this inclined line. Right? Inclined line means increase in temperature as well as in heat. In case of latent, the temperature will not increase. But in case of sensible, the temperature increases, adding the heat. Okay. So here inclined line represents what? Sensible. And how much BTUs are required? Vanity BTUs required in order to means heat up that uh, water up to what? Up to the boiling point. And you know, 200, this uh, 212 degree Fahrenheit or 100 degree centigrade is what? Is a boiling point of water. No? So at this point, now the water is ready to evaporate. Hmm. So this phase we can consider as sensible because adding the heat will increase the temperature without change in phase. Next at point four, further if you add the heat, what will happen? The temperature will not increase. The change of phase start. Again, change of phase start, you can see 4.4 to 5. There is no change. A change in the temperature so you know it's a latent heat and as per the experiment we have this 970 BTU if you add that heat so the complete water can vaporize to liquid and the amount of water is for calculation point of view are considering as one pound now at point four the state of water is what it is completely in gas it is in vapor now further if you add the heat what will happen the temperature of the vapor increases we can call say superheated team or uh, superheated gas so you see at point 0.5 completely it is in a uh, vapor state means gas state further if you add the heat gas the, the the vapor in the vapor state only is in the gas state but the temperature increases again that we can call as a sensible and why i'm focusing on this topic because at the time of vapor compression cycle we'll use all this information because in vapor compression cycle at the time of condensation, release the rejection of heat equal to latent heat, then only the change of phase. And at the time of uh, at the time of evaporation in evaporator, again extraction of heat equal to latent heat, then only the change of phase will happen. Okay, so that's the reason this topic is important. And based on the vapor compression cycle only, we have this chapter five, this classification of machines means the classification of air conditions, different air conditioning, and works on the vapor compression cycle. If we talk about all commercial and residential air conditioning uh, systems that works on VCR means vapor compression cycle. We have vapor absorption, we have this Trolux or we have this air system, different uh, cycle in actual practice, but most commonly in actual practice for uh, commercial and residential air conditioning system, including the refrigeration, you'll find VCR. Okay. Just one minute, one minute, sir. Yes. How it, is, how it is related to the vapor compression cycle, this latent heat and this? I've given the example be... in the condenser, in the condenser, change of phase, right? If you already know, you can relate. If someone don't know, don't worry. We have a separate topic in detail for vapor compression cycle. In vapor compression cycle, we have this condenser as well as evaporator, and both are heat exchanger. Na? So in condenser, what will happen? The change of phase from vapor, uh, this gas to liquid. Liquid. And whenever change of phase means that that substance must reject the heat equal to latent heat. Okay. Okay. So in that sense, this is important for vapor compression cycle. Similarly for uh, vapor, sorry. Similarly for Evaporator side also, the case is same but reverse, extraction of heat and change of phase from liquid to vapor. Okay. Again, by that extracting means, the heat equal to latent heat. Okay, okay. that means in condenser, no temperature of rise, only phase change will occur, right? Yes, at the time of rejection of heat equal to latent, means in case of change of phase means the temperature is going to be same. But don't worry, I'll, I'll explain in detail about vapor cycle. We have a detailed topic, if possible today only. If not, I will deal with the in the next session. Because without that, you cannot think for this uh, classification of air conditioning. Even in chill waters, uh, in chillers, you'll find vapor compression cycle. You have vapor absorption cycle, uh, uh, vapor absorption chillers also. Commonly in actual practice, the compact type, type compared to vapor absorption is a vapor compression cycle chillers. We have a uh, topic in detail. So at this level, just focus on this topic so that we can use at the time of vapor compression cycle. Okay. So got the idea only about this uh, sensible latent heat.